Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. So I am actually recording the very first video on my brand new iPhone iPhone 6s and yes, I did decide to get the gold color in case you were wondering um, But anyway, so sorry about the positioning. I had a really hard time figuring out how to position the camera and I found a little ledge um, in the stairwell, but well, it's a little tall. Um, so please bear with me. Anyway, so today I am comparing the color changing lip products that I have and basically letting you know why at the end of it all, they're pretty much the same thing. So let's get started. Now, I have three products. First, the cheap one is from Dollar Tree. It is their color changing lipstick. In this case, it is in the blueberry flavor and um, it has huge chunks of glitter in it, which is the main differentiation between it and some of the other lip products, the higher end lip products. Um, I also have a mid-range product, the Physician's Formula PH Matchmaker Lip Gloss. This is a lip gloss, but well, the ingredients um, to change the color is the same ingredient as all the other products. I love though how it's got the gold um, sheen, which really sort of tones it down. As you can tell from my lips, the the color changing uh, pigment is very, very purple. This is, um, what is on my lips right now is actually this product. This is a deluxe sample size of the Clinique. Uh, chubby steak baby tint. This is in the color number 03 budding blossom. I got this um, because I bought a set of um, You know a Clinique a holiday set and so this was part of that set. I Love this product Okay, but let's first start on why these are all pretty much the same So I don't know if you notice but on the back here There's the ingredient red 27 Red 27 is the ingredient that changes color when it comes contact with moisture. This is the color that I believe every company is using for this color changing, you know, miracle. It's in the lip gloss, it's in the chubby stick, it's Red 27. Um, now, don't get me wrong, the everything else um, definitely makes a difference. For example, the Dollar Tree product, it's got such a large amount of glitter in it that it is, well, you really have to wipe it off before you go out the door. The good thing is that you put this on, wait a little bit, wipe it off, it stains your lips. The bad part of this product is, in a very f interesting turn of events, it's got too much pigment in it. It stains too much. So, this actually will settle into the uneven areas of your lips and stain a lot. So yes, it is staining, but it will highlight every little imperfection and every little um, you know nook and cranny that might not be smooth. It's horrific. So this has too much pigment. Believe it or not, the more expensive products actually have less. The reason I enjoy this one the most is because one, I love chubby sticks. I love the um, jumbo lip pencil. Also, this is very um, smooth and balmy. And, of course, there's no glitter. So this one is the one I enjoy the most. Being that said, it's also the most expensive, being Clinique. Um, now, for the lip gloss. The lip gloss does have a little mirror, uh, for those of you that care. It's got a little light inside. Again, if you actually care about it, just uh, to apply, you know. And this applicator is very interesting it's this kind of really small brush thing um it's definitely different from usual lip glosses with their doe foots and as you can tell it's got this golden um almost corally sheen uh the pink on the edge here is about the color that the uh, red 27 turns into but here i'll apply a little bit But do you see how it's just a little bit more um, red than the more, I guess, fuchsia color on my lips right now? Um, here, let me try, uh, apply some to the back of my hand so you can see. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the um, Clinique. And it is just barely tinted, very natural looking, very nice. 
This is the lip gloss. Again, nice because of the, you know, red dyes inside that tones it down and the gold shimmer is very wearable. This is one swipe off the dollar store uh, color treating lipstick. I don't know if you can see clearly, but there's a lot of glitter on it. And the color is just very, 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 very purple. It's remarkable. It is way too much. With the um, Clinique chubby stick if i wanted to i could always add more color but with the dollar store one it's just way too much to start with that being said if you are a um, darker skinned girl you might want the more pigmented version but the sheer amount of glitter in here makes it difficult to wear out and then you just have the lip gloss that um it's a more neutral color it the, all of them stain because the uh, red dye uh, 27, the red 27 does stain, but as you can tell, it is very obviously different. But however, this just goes to show though that all of these they're pretty much the same thing. Um, they use you know the same dye. They turn this fuchsia pink uh, color. Um, don't get me wrong, I love that color, but in terms of everyday wear, I don't think many women are able to pull off that color. So therefore, if you wanted to give this color a try, you know, get yourself to Dollar Tree and try this lipstick. Um, I don't think you really need to, you know, spend like 20, 30 bucks on say, um, you know, MAC or Lipstick Queen or anything like that to try a certain color. Obviously, if you have the money and are wanting to splurge, I would recommend the Clinique Chubby Stick just because this is a more natural Result is natural. It feels great. I, I personally love all of the chubby sticks. Um, I love I like how the color goes on and everything not so much the intense line just because I don't like wearing that much color from one of these jumbo lip pencils when I want color I will actually go with a real lipstick. I just I like differentiating that way But um, as you can see though, it is it can get very pigmented, but is a more natural color and same thing with this, it's because of the gold shimmer and the other colors in here, it is a lot more natural. Plus the fact it is a gloss means that, you you know, in theory, you're not applying that much of it. These two are definitely less pigmented than the cheap one, which means that it's less likely you're going to over apply because this does stain the lips. So it's better to have a little bit and then apply more if you need than to overdo it and have that stain for who knows how many hours. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and please hit like and subscribe and um, have a great weekend guys.